Hey y'all, welcome back to Let's Play East 1. Last time, we made it to Darm Tower, past the point of no return. And this time, we shall explore the place. First thing you want to do... Head out this way. In this room, you'll find four treasure chests. One thing I stated earlier, and I was wrong about this totally, is uh, the armor. The third set. Let me go here. This set right here. I was wrong here. Um, <coughs> you can't actually find this set inside this dungeon. Also, in these treasure boxes, you will have an evil ring. Do not equip this. I mean that. You shall have a mirror, but I already have one, so I can't use it. And you shall have a heal potion, but I already have one, so I can't grab another. So, now that we're done in here, head back. Back the way you came. And you head down again. And go up here. Then... You should be on the third floor. Just keep going straight for a while. You should be just fine. On this floor? I think there's something interesting on this floor. Oh, yeah. That treasure chest over there will hold a, uh... Let's see, where's the way up? Up here. In here, this treasure chest will also hold one of the, uh... Three middle range weapons. So, just keep that in mind as well. Since I already got all three of them, there's no issue there. I don't have to grab them. Storm Tower 4-5. Alright. Up here, was there something? No. There is that, but I think there's something else over this way. Yeah. Okay, this is the way we want to go. Good. Then you want to go like right in here. Oh, no. When Adol came to, he found himself locked in a prison cell. He checked his belongings and found that some were missing. Remember when I said you want to have all those items? This was why. So equip your mid-range gear. And then, loot is here. Fancy meeting you in a place like this, eh, Ada? I'm ashamed to confirm that, yes, I slept walked here, somehow. When I woke up, I found myself surrounded by monsters and scrambled to get away from them. But it was no use. They caught me, only instead of killing me, they threw me in here. Weird. There seems to be no one at all out in the corridor. The walls were made of heavy stone and covered with a thick layer of damp dust. There was no window or drain. The room was quite stuffy. Well, I guess there's nothing we can do. Might as well just sit here and spend the rest of our days just wondering how to get out of- Whoa! <laughs> Howdy, stranger. Don't worry. I came to peace. I come in peace. Doggy's the name, and while crushing's my game, pleased to meet ya. Let's save the chit chat for later, though. We gotta get the hell out of here. Watch your step, man. Traps all over the place. One false move, and you'll wind up right back in here. Three stories up, there's a hallway with a little statue. An old man named Rob is hiding in there. He's been here a long time, and knows this tower like the back of his hand. You should talk to him. Alright, come on, everyone. Time to go. Let's make like dust and blow the, in the wind. This is Dogie. He will become a series mainstay, and one of the few. He has appeared in practically every game to date, except for the fourth one. So yeah. That's Dogie. And also, if you go to your notes, it should look like this now. So let us head back up, yeah? So 
So here we are on floor three. Go ahead and not here. Equip the mask, of the face mask. Take it off. And here is Rabba. Wow, that's my Dido. I see, so Doki asked you to bring it to me, eh? Much obliged. My name is Rabba. I'm a seeker of ancient knowledge, a scholar by trade, if you will. I come here six months ago to study the ancient ruins of Asteria. But while I was investigating this tower's monster, something came in from every which way. So I've been hiding in here, hoping they wouldn't find me. The idol has been my saving grace. It may not look like much, but it's full of power. When held close to the body, it can make you completely vanish from sight. It's the reason I've been able to survive so long without the monsters finding me. Well, young man, what brings you to this dreadful place? Your equipment suggests you came here knowing it's, so, it's dangerous, so I assume you have a reason. I see. Well, it's going to be my first guess, actually. The name Ys appears quite frequently in ancient texts, even on the mainland. They say it's a land adept in the mad power of magic, with an abundant supply of a silver-like metal. But as time went on, the name simply vanished from history. No one mentions it anymore. Nowadays, no one even knows where to find it on the map. Its name was scholars always figured belonged to some long-lost utopian land of legend. But I always knew East was somewhere in Asteria. I had a hunch. Anyway. And it would seem I, I was so correct. If I figured it out, figured it right, then something akin to the stone wall appeared on the day East was lost. Storms encircled the, the island, and they all were gone. So was all East. All that remained here was this tower. Asteria's mere m minstrels tell of swarms of monsters killing off half the land's people in a single night. Nobody could get away either. On account of the storms, meanwhile, the monsters built Darm Tower. Then right after the tower was completed, the monsters just disappeared. The crisis had passed. Several hundred years passed, and in time, the whole mess was forgotten. Well, mostly, anyway. But the danger was still there. It was dormant, but it was still there. You sense it, too, don't you? As we speak, someone in this tower is setting something evil in motion. There are traps everywhere around here. Without a doubt, someone or something is puppeteering it all. To what end, though? I have no idea. But we can't just let it happen, can we? Of course, that's why you're here, though. So you intend to keep climbing this tower, do you? In that case, I think you should have this. The blue necklace. As long as you're wearing the blue necklace, the tower may the tower's many booby traps will become totally ineffective. Cool. I recommend going and equipping not <laughs> equipping it right away. Well, not right away because you need to ask him. I ask. But that's not what I meant to do. Oh yeah, so I've been forgetting to mention this the whole let's play, but you can actually change your ring on the fly. So let's continue down this corridor, yeah? Alright. By the way, up this way, I think the only thing you're really missing is the third weapon that you don't have yet. I'm gonna go check, though. Keep in mind, enemy fights aren't that important anymore, so I wouldn't focus too much on it. Yep, that's all we're missing here. Cool. Just keep in mind that enemy fights aren't much more important unless you're trying to fill out, like, the enemy log. I don't think it's possible for us to even complete it at this point anymore. And I don't even know the enemy log for that matter. So... Don't worry about it, I would say. You don't get a visible enemy log. It's only a Steam achievement for the most... For you completionist Or achievement hunters out there. I don't... Tend to focus on that kind of stuff, though. Alright. Darm Tower, Floor 7. There is something you're gonna need on this floor. 
There it is. Silver Sword has been re-obtained. Go ahead and equip that. Okay. I went the wrong way. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Cool, you're done in this room. So head back out. And head up here, I believe. Yes. By the way, I recommend healing up here right now. Oh. In here. Oh, shoot. I recommend saving. Here we are. This boss is probably the easiest boss in the game. I say as I get my ass beaten. My recommend strategy is just going around. Shoot. I say that and I get my ass beat, of course. Okay. Okay. Sorry, just focusing on the boss. Oh, yeah. Cool. So in here, the hammer, and the Book of East. Rule of thumb, don't get too confident. Now way up here. So we're about the halfway point of Darm Tower now. Down this way you should have, yes, something good. Something really good's in here. Okay. Oh yeah, I already have it equipped, good. Your civil shield should be reobtained here. Okay. Up here. Not on this floor, okay. I'm looking for something particular on this floor. Might not be on this floor, I think it's on the next one actually. Check down here real quick, anything important?
Yep. Okay. Equip the hammer. Not here. Here. Not here. There we are. Also go in here. And we find Luda again. At all, it's me, Luda. Gemma. I was hiding out with Raba, but the monster located us. I managed to get away, but hurt my leg rather badly in the process. Oh, don't worry. It's nowhere near as bad as it looks. I just have to stay off it for a bit. I heard from the old man that a young girl was taken into the Axon. Axon. I don't like the sound of that one bit. Adol, please go help her. At all. Sorry. Okay. Re-equip the blue necklace. Uh, hoo -hoo. Cool. All right, back down. There's nothing in that room. It's like really pointless. Go up here now. All right, so we should be. Nah, here we are. Again, right around here, I think. No. I'm not sure. No, this floor is something we don't want to miss. Okay, we're fine. Nothing on floor 12. I totally forgot about that. Floor 12 is practically empty. So, now we arrive at the midpoint. Nothing we can do on that floor as of this moment, so don't worry too much about it. On this floor now... I believe there is something... Yes. Save again. Then... Let's go ahead and enter, yeah? This boss. My best piece of advice is this boss is very luck-based. You know, the way- the strategy I seem finds to work the best is just to circle it. If you see me feel like you're taking too many hits, back off. You will probably die to this boss because it's so bizarre. Yeah. Again, don't feel ashamed. That boss is quite bizarre. It's really just a matter of luck. Attempt number four. Got ya. Ha ha. Four times, but... I mean, this boss isn't, like, difficult, but... Yeah. Awkward is a word I would use to describe it. Book of East. Cool. And the rod. Cool. Okay, so we're gonna head back now. It is now night outside. Trying to only have a few bit of time left. So I go talk to Raba. Cool. So cool. So this this is a weird puzzle. But let me show you the correct pattern. Go this way, up here, and there, 
And right here, you should get your silver armor back. Go ahead and equip it. Next up, round two. In here. I'm gonna go to the left one, I believe. No. I messed that up. Well, if you mess it up, just go... This room is kind of confusing, but you want to go down here. Two. In here. There we go. Into the main door. Up here. Now we are on floor 15. Our target right now is floor 16, yeah? I believe on this floor, though, there is something we can get. Battle shield. This is, without a doubt, the best shield in the game. Go ahead and equip it. So... Just keep going down now. And then... Make it to the sky bridge. Now in here. Make sure you still have the blue necklace equipped, yeah? Do not press this door until you have the evil ring equipped. Then immediately take the evil ring off. And we found Rhea. Oh, Ado, it's me, Rhea, the Trub the Trubador. Do you remember? I had faith he would come. I let myself be captured. I knew no one no other way to find you, and there was something I had to tell you. It's in regards to the man who ultimately locked you in this room. His name is Dark Fact. He is a fearsome man of ill intent, who wears a jet black cape to immediate intimidate those around him. He means to use the power of monsters to exercise control over all of Asteria. He may even aspire to conquer the entire world. At all. You possess the books of East, do you not? Should Dark Fact acquire those books, the world will suffer. Consequences most dire. Please, you must somehow put stop to his evil ambitions. Very few people in the world are capable of reading the books of East anymore. You, more than any, have earned the right to do so. Please take this with you. It will grant you the power to read the ancient language of East. Monocle has been received. Radical. When you have read all six of the books, the full scope of the legend shall become known. At all, please undercover the truth. Okay. Go ahead and uh, equip the monocle. And we are going to read the Book of Mesa. We have finally found ourselves cornered in the Temple of Solomon. The six great demons, dog, are every step and will be upon us soon. We have decided to leave this land for now and hope that we may one day return. Take heed, O divine people, for grievous times loom upon all paths of the future. But do not lose hope. For time has decreed that a guide shall come. O oh, people, steal your limits. Cool. Equip the other book. He came, bringing his demon hordes with him. And amidst the dark, our darkness terror, the goddesses disappeared. They have not been seen since. Hence, we have, have we been forsaken? We of the line of Gimma know an ancient story. It speaks of an amulet made of translucent blue crystals. This, store, this amulet, the story says, has the power to destroy the demons, dreaded curses. Take note, however, of the weight that time has wrought upon this table tale. Proceed with wisdom, for there is danger. Okay. With that all said and done, I think we should end off here. Next time on Let's Play East 1... We shall explore the rest of Darm Tower and perhaps finish the game. See you guys then.
てやつだ